I am Sanjeev, Product Manager at Algo Embedded Systems Private Limited. At Algo, we do embedded products and solutions specifically for the automotive infotainment domain. Besides that, we also have advanced driver assistance solutions for the automotive market. In this video, we are demonstrating RACE 2.0, which is the next generation automotive infotainment middleware from Argo, which integrates the existing production quality race media player and mirroring stacks from Algo to create a unified user experience. Let me show you a few uh, key use cases of RACE 2.0. So this is a RACE 2.0 application. Now I'm going to uh, plug in an iPhone and uh, <clears throat> let me launch the RACE application. So the iPhone got detected and uh, I am able to see all the music in the iPhone. The music is being played back from the iPhone. Let me just go and uh, select a music. Uh, as you see, uh, the music has started playback. I'll just go to CarPlay. Now if I go to CarPlay, now as you see, uh, this is a CarPlay screen and without a music break we have transitioned from a native media application to carplay and then i can do the normal carplay features like navigation or phone call and another thing i can do is uh, i can actually do all the playback control from carplay and i can uh, uh, maybe switch to the next music so if i switch back again to the media player so you see that it has transitioned to the other music automatically so the same thing applies for all kinds of playback controls like repeat shuffle or any other controls. So this creates a seamless uh, transition experience for the uh, user as while moving from CarPlay to uh, the native media player uh, uh, and then vice versa. So it applies for the other mirroring stacks as well. Here's another use case of RACE 2.0 to integrate different mirroring stacks by creating common APIs. So in this case, we have created navigation and phone shortcuts using the common APIs. Let me show you uh, how they work. So I have an iPhone connected here. And then if I click on the navigation shortcut, as you see, it takes me directly to the uh, iPhone uh, navigation screen. And then if I come back and then launch using uh, launch the phone shortcut then it takes me directly to the phone screen of the uh, carplay now what happens when we connect an android phone so i'm going to replace uh, the iphone with an android phone so now if i launch the same navigation shortcut it takes me to the android navigation screen let me go back then let me launch the phone so as you see it has taken me to the uh, uh, Android phone screen so here we have kind of uh, used the common APIs to integrate both Android and uh, CarPlay mirroring stacks so same thing applies even for a mirroring phone so the common mirroring manager APIs make the application development easier and if new mirroring standards come up then the application does not get impacted much, only the middleware gets replaced. Thank you for watching this video. Do log on to www.algosystems.com to know more.